Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what amygdala or hippocampsoptomy is, what the hippocampus and amygdala are, eligibility, MRI, EEG, and SPECT testing, pre-surgery, the procedure, post-surgery, and side effects. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. An amygdala or hippocampsoptomy is a surgical procedure used to treat drug-resistant epilepsy that originates in the hippocampus and or the temporal lobe. The main form of epilepsy that the amygdala or hippocampsoptomy targets is mesial temporal lobe epilepsy. Mesial temporal lobe epilepsy typically results from pathologies in the hippocampus, mainly hippocampal sclerosis. Since the seizures occur in the temporal lobe, the procedure works by removing two parts of the temporal lobe, the hippocampus and the amygdala. The hippocampus is located in the temporal lobe and is a crucial part of the limbic system. The hippocampus assists in learning, memorizing, and spatical awareness. People with mesial temporal lobe epilepsy experienced impaired neurocognitive functions of the hippocampus. The amygdala is also located in the temporal lobe, specifically in the medial temporal lobe. It is part of the neural system and assists in processing and perceiving dangerous and threatening stimuli. People who suffer from drug-resistant seizures that have a focal point of the hippocampus or amygdala are eligible for an amygdala or hippocampsoptomy. Before the surgery, your doctor will determine the location of your seizures, if not already known, using an MRI, EEG, or SPECT to see if you are eligible. An MRI is a medical device that creates images of your organs and tissue throughout your body. This is done by using magnets to measure the alignment and energy of the protons in your body through radio frequency. An MRI is conducted in an enclosed tube structure and is painless. According to Mayo Clinic, an EEG is a test that measures electrical activity in the brain using small metal discs known as electrodes attached to the scalp. Doctors use EEGs to detect where overactivity is taking place in the brain. A SPECT scan uses a radioactive substance to map out 3D pictures that show how your organs are functioning. The radioactive tracer often has no long-term side effects, but can result in soreness from the injection spot or an allergic reaction. Before the surgery, you should expect neuropsychological exams of vision and memory. Additionally, blood and urine tests will be administered. The patient will also need to avoid eating and drinking eight hours before the surgery, clear any medications with the doctor, and inform the doctor of any allergies. The patient will first undergo anesthesia, making them unconscious and making the procedure painless. The surgery starts by tilting the head, followed by the neurosurgeon making an incision on their skull. They will then access the periosternum and dura, and the surgeon will use neuroabrogation systems to reach the temporal gyrus. From there, neurosurgeons will either do the cortical, transylvanian, or sylvian approach. Transcortical, the incision will occur three and a half centimeters from the temporal lobe. Transylvanian, the incision will be 15 millimeters in the temporal stem, preventing damage to the lateral temporal lobe. Subtemporal, the neurosurgeons will approach the temporal lobe from below the posterior lateral, preserving the inferior temporal gyrus, the temporal tip, the vein of Labay, and the ventral bridging veins. 
After the amygdala and hippocampus have been removed, the neurosurgeon will seal up the incision and replace the bone flap that was removed. The patient will remain in the hospital for four days following the surgery under close watch, followed by an immediate follow-up. In the time following, a CT scan will occur along with neurological tests to determine the effectiveness of the surgery. Like all surgeries, there is a possible risk of cascading effects. These effects usually occur due to the absence of the hippocampus and amygdala in the brain. Side effects include visual perception defects, impaired memory function, cerebrovasospasm or narrowing of blood vessels, vascular spasms, narrowing of arteries caused by the contraction of blood vessels, or brain hemorrhage. On occasion, some parts of the hippocampus and amygdala are not fully removed, which results in seizures continuing to occur. A second round of surgery may be required. In conclusion, amygdala or hippocanceptomy is generally a safe and effective method for stopping temporal lobe epilepsy. The procedure works by removing the hippocampus and amygdala from your brain in hopes of stopping your seizures by removing their focal points. There are possible side effects to the surgery, such as memory loss and vision problems, but the surgery can permanently end the experienced seizures. To learn more about amygdala or hippocanceptomy, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.